Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Call of Duty World at War. This is the final episode. It's time for the downfall. Let's go. The path towards our glorious victory has been a journey of blood and brutality. All of it has been necessary. When the flag of our motherland flies atop the Reichstag, all of Berlin will know that the evil of the fascist Reich has been wiped from the face of the earth. Let's go. April 30th, 1945. When he first spoke of Dmitri, Reznov told tales of a hero. Someone we should all aspire to be like. At times, I have seen him show mercy, but at others act with complete brutality. I do not understand him. Perhaps heroes need not question their actions. Steal yourselves, men! For the final push to victory! Shit. Today, we crush what remains of their fascist rights. As heroes, we will return to Russia's embrace. Our land, our people, our land. Your motherland needs your final commitment. The SS Honor Guard defending this building will fight to their last breath. Crush the last remnants of resistance and this night our flag will fly over the city. We must not falter! Oh, ho, ho. so yeah. A lot of the game insists on giving me a fucking pistol. I'm puzzled that it's so hard to see anything in this. So I'm gonna run out that way. I like no. Like no, they're bombing it. Not when we were entering it, but fine. Fire the Panzer Shrek. What fucking Panzer Shrek? Where is this Panzer Shrek? Am I missing something? Am, am I a retard? I've yet to see a pure Panzer Shrek here. I need to find a area where I can push. I see somebody there. Sure is. I thought I could throw it back. I couldn't. Yeah, this is going to be fun. A fucking pistol instead of a BPSH Give me Uh, like, get the Panzer Shrek, they said. What fucking Panzer Shrek? Come on, he did this. Let's see what's up here. Is there anything for me? Nope. I mean, what a shot. Holy shit. 
Don't throw a grenade now. I'm in a really shitty position. In your ass, bitch. No? <laughs> and now... Come on. I mean, there's no point in holding on to a PBSH. I basically have to wait for my guys to die, which is, well, not the best thing to do. Give me those! Please, no, not now. You don't see me. I'm not here. You see nothing. Okay, my boys are here. What? Seriously. Okay. Okay, let me see what's inside. Anything of greater value? No. Nope. Fire. Understandable. Have a great day. Give me that. They are the They have to be around here. Impossible. I'm allowed to have fun. Shit, they want to pick it up. There's a fire boy somewhere. Give me this. I need to get to that side. Oh, I guess I can't blow it up now.
trying to conserve ammo for my... Okay, okay, get near somebody. Impatience. My biggest enemy. And they keep coming and they don't stop coming. I forget this is actually. Okay, there's no. Sorry. Oh, I'm almost out of ammo for this. Oh. Boy with fire, where the fuck are you? Why was he there? <laughs> oh, of course there was a boy with a fire. I hate flamethrowers. Three, three, two, one. This is the time to push. No, okay. No, a full loaded SVG. I killed the machine gunner. What? Come on, I need to push. Oh shit. Trying to guess where he is. Oh, you're telling me I'm too fat to go through there. Meat. 
Clear the ground floor. Yeah, sure. Let's save the books. Unless they are, well. Resnov. Go, oh, everyone, through the doors. Come on, serious. Keep going. All right. We cleared the ground floor. Oh shit! No, I have to move! <laughs> that almost worked. I'm surprised. Okay, don't block, body block me, please. I have four grenades. Well, to be fair, dumb strategy could could have worked. Okay. Okay, come on, please. Please, don't blow me up. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, that's not sorry, mate. I just love this. We must be nearing the roof. Look how far we come. They should throw these animals over the edge. Comrades from the rear echelon are flooding the building. But the Apache Fair Fire was so deep for the Oh, right. So, here we are. I got the machine gunner. This is a beautiful part. Yeah, a bit painful to... We need to break out, but... Come on, where the hell are you? Did I get the guy? There's to be someone on this pillar. Oh sh There's my boy Reznov. I got him. I love this mission. Like this one's good. Ok, 
there's somebody here. Come on. What? Who shot from behind? Come on, come on! No, I think I could have. I need to run. Did it. Here we go. <laughs> we won. So yeah. This is one of the best scenes. So, ladies and gentlemen, that as would be it. Live, the heart of this army can never be broken. Things will change, my friend. As heroes, we will return to Russia's embrace. Soviet embrace, but okay. Solemn. General Eisenhower informs me that the forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. That's going the to be cooperated, I guess, but okay. Must now be won in the east. Freedom, tolerance, and justice. 
So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that would be it for this for this series. I know I didn't complete the Heart of the Reich on veteran difficulty because, well, I don't have to know the ball. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. I know I didn't complete that mission, because, well, I've gone to those houses more than five times, but I could not advance beyond them, and every time it respawned me back to the point where I destroyed my second flag gun, so... Um, I was not about to, well... There's no point in suffering when you can just finish the mission on hard and difficulty. Responding enemies is not a great mechanic, and what can you say, but this is an incredible game. If you have time, pick it up, play it. Don't play it on veteran if you are not so sure. It's a pain on to play it on the veteran difficulty, on regular difficulties it's outstanding. Like regular difficulty it's fun, it's amazing. You get a grip of the war fairly quickly, especially, uh, you get, can get a, a rough idea of what happened in the USSR, or the Soviet Union. Um, when Germans invaded it, it, the plan was to kill or enslave the Soviet people. So, they did retaliate, they did murder millions. So, when the Soviets passed through their burned and destroyed villages, they weren't, they weren't so merciful, and especially the propaganda turning dehumanizing the Nazis. So, in the end, you do under, you have to understand that what the Soviets did was heinous and terrible, but that's what propaganda can do, and seeing, well, your own villages destroyed, burned to the ground, citizens, your family members killed for no reason other than, well, they not being by some retarded idea of a, members of the higher race. It is on us to make sure that this never happens again. That's it. Thank you for watching, this was Karabay, see you next time, bye bye.